We begin tonight with new information on the shooting death of a 14 year old boy on the lakeshore. Neighbors are demanding an end to the gun violence. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores joins us now with the latest on the crime and an expert's advice on how to prevent the violence. Juliet, the local doctor, says this tool can be used, can be one of many used in the community to try and stop the violence. Violence in our neighborhood is 100% totally unacceptable. 14-year-old Demario Spears Jr. was shot and killed Wednesday morning in a Muskegon neighborhood. Four people, three teenagers and one adult, were arrested Thursday morning in connection to the shooting. The adult has yet to be charged, and the three minors face various gun charges. I want a serious real change right now. We got to do something about getting these guns and so forth out of the hands of our minors. That's totally unacceptable. How are they getting them? We don't even know. But the fact of the matter is they are getting them. Longtime resident Sam Turnipseed says he doesn't understand why the violence is happening. It's imperative that we all wake up and say, okay, it's not acceptable. Let's get together and do what we can. Let's help the government. Let's help the city halls. Let's help the community. Let's help ourselves do what we can to try and fix the situation. You know, the trauma, the physical trauma, the emotional trauma, the trauma to the family, the trauma to the community, it's really heartbreaking. Dr. Brian Stork is a local doctor who has seen many young victims, and he's also a community advocate behind a partnership to prevent gun violence. The program is called Safer Teens, trying to speak to at-risk teenagers hurt in the emergency room before they find themselves in another bad situation. The idea is to try to intervene during those three or four times to ask screening questions to see if youth are at risk for fighting or other violent behavior, and then to offer them an intervention and say, hey, you know, let's think about what you want to do with your life. Let's think about how alcohol, drugs, and violence might affect that plan. And let's kind of work together to, you know, steer you on the right course. At this time, charges have not been issued for the adult involved in the shooting. Two of the three teenage suspects have had their hearings adjourned until May 9th. Juliet.